At long last, the X-Pro2 has landed. Let's check it out. First off, comparing the X-Pro1 with the X-Pro2, well, you can see my X-Pro1 is quite obviously a little bit more experienced in life, but standing up to the tests of time, and that's why people love these bodies physically. The two bodies together, from the top, looking across, Fujifilm have taken away a little bit of information there. Typically, the hot shoe adapter looks very similar. The shutter speed dial here, and that's where your first change going across really is. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. You've got your on off switch there. And I've just got to say, Fuji, I'm glad the on off switch is there. Using a Canon on a shoot recently and not being so used to the Canon bodies, the on off switch being on this side was just a pain because I'm so used to picking up the body, turning on, and I'm away. So I'm glad the Fuji film bodies have stuck with that. The X Pro 2 gives you an extra stop above and below for that function button there too let me just show you this shutter speed dial closer up you can see you've got an extra dial in the middle there and a little window there and to access that you pull that and you turn some people have complained think that's a little bit awkward let's take a look at the backs now a few little changes remember there's the one there's the two you've got a little bit more of a thumb rest on the two than the one your screen's not articulated still. That's an XT job. You've got your play, your bin button there. Display buttons, fairly similar place as before. As is your four-way dial there. Slightly lower on the X-Pro2. Your play button on your X-Pro1. Well, that area is replaced with a joystick which once you get used to is a lot faster, especially for selecting AF points. Took me a short while to get used to that. And also to not knock it while shooting. Interesting. And you'll hear me mention it many times with these sort of videos. That's something you can just get used to with use. On the X-Pro1, you haven't got the eye diopter adjuster, whereas on the 2, you have. And because I wasn't used to it, and it's not possible to lock it maybe the location of it i found myself knocking it out so i was shooting along in a fast-paced environment and everything would be blurry and think what's going on here then obviously realize that that had been knocked so that's something that you might consider taping over or just getting used to not accidentally rubbing that edge your view mode button on your x pro one is now closer to the eyepiece sensors pretty much in the same place there just a slight change in design with these pieces to accommodate the view mode button. You can see there's a couple more buttons along here. Going across, you've got your dial there. Now, you've still got your AEL and AFL there. The tripod screw mount is now in the center, not so close to the battery door as it was on the X-Pro1. So potentially, depending on the size of your tripod mount plate, you can still access your battery door which just makes it a lot easier. You'll notice on this side that the X-Pro2 has two SD card slots in the location where your USB ports, HDMI and USB ports are on the X-Pro1. That's obviously a massive upgrade and what has brought many other wedding photographers across the Fuji system. The memory cards that can be taken now are UHS-2 cards in slot 1. Previous body UHS-1. Previously, on your X-Pro1, your SD cards would go next to your battery. Not ideal, but there you go. So that's definitely a big improvement. So let's flip it over to the other side. As you'd expect, your ports are on that side on the X-Pro2, including your mic socket, which unfortunately is still a 2.5 mil, which is frankly just cuts down the use of this camera for video slightly, but it's not really a priority in this body. And you can see again that slightly annoying eyepiece diopter adjustment dial. Not a big fan of that, gotta be honest. It's actually fairly similar, as you'd hope, from the front physically. A little bit of a different finish, especially on this side. The grip is slightly more pronounced there. Doesn't feel as fat as that. With this dial, the X-Pro2 has another function button built in there. And also, the X-Pro2 has another dial here. Added functionality to the X-Pro2. Really has stepped up the game to bring more features over the X-Pro1. The X-Pro2 has this X-Trans CMOS 3 sensor compared to the 1 sensor 
in the X Pro One. So 24.3 million pixels compared to 16.3 million in the one maximum image size in pixels 6000 by 4000 compared to 4896 by 3624 new processor inside the x pro 2 you've got raf compression now the native iso has swung from a maximum of 6400 to 12800 starting at 200 extended iso again that goes past the previous body now, as you'd imagine. Goes up to 51, 200. Same metering system, pretty much. Add center weight in metering to the X Pro 2. We mentioned it before. Now the exposure compensation is actually plus minus five, hence the C. This has face detection, eye detection, which the X Pro 1 didn't have. Also, the X Pro 2 offers two frames per second more in its highest continuous shooting, so eight frames per second. Offers a continuous high buffer using JPEG of 83 frames. That's compared to 21 frames with the X Pro 1. Uncompressed RAF, well, that'll give you 36 frames. Before the raw files, you were getting 12 frames at continuous high buffer. The X Pro 2 also adds to the mix a white balance auto bracketing option which wasn't available previously three custom white balance banks too and there's a very quick run through of what we had before and you can do the same as you can imagine with the joystick going into the menu there your setups i found it was a little bit different but it's all in there it's all nicely laid out i've only shot with this for about a week now i took it on a wedding because I was confident with using the body. Especially if you've moved over from the X Pro 1. It shouldn't be a big deal to be honest. And if you're capable of photography you can get used to the camera. But of course you've got to check out if it feels right to you. This body also features Wi-Fi which I've found very useful on my Fujifilm bodies. If you're on a job you might want to share a little highlight on your break. Makes it just so much quicker to do. In fact I showed the bride a shot straight after doing it. Shot through the window. She pulled her face. We got a great shot. Showed her on the back of the camera. That was on Instagram in five minutes. Purely because there was a lull in the action. She was excited about it. And thanks to the Wi-Fi. It just made it so much easier to do. Now as you can imagine. The X Pro 2 is slightly heavier than the X Pro 1. But otherwise the dimensions are similar. But what do I think about it? Now I've used it in anger. And used it in a real life situation. So in summary. As you've guessed, I love it. Fujifilm have really knocked it out of the park with the upgrade from the X-Pro1. For pros, the features in this body should make the difference. It's faster, the images are just that bit better with the extra low light capabilities. The small little design features, the tripod screw thread being moved, the grip there, the additional function buttons, these little things add up to make a working pros day that much easier. These cameras are really coming on a treat now. If you got in early, well done. If you're getting on board now, you won't be disappointed. Should you get it over any other Fuji X body? Well, that's a personal preference really. I'm looking forward to using the X-T2 a lot more. Don't really want to compare the X-T range with the X-Pro range because you know, they are aimed at different people, but you know how it is with fanboys. People get carried away, but you have your personal preferences. That's true. That's why I use two XT bodies and one X Pro body. But I'd be happy to just use these bodies. No problem at all. Let us know what you think. If you've moved over, let us know what you think about upgrading. If you've got any tips and tricks, let us know. I should have mentioned that little joystick on the back makes life extra easy. I just love the little things they've done with it. I'm not a fan of that diopter thing. Miners, really. Extra command wheel. Yeah, great. No need to waffle. I'll leave it to you guys. And remember, if you're into these bodies and you want to win one, stay tuned. That's all I'll say for now. I've said too much. What's that? You don't want to go back to Clive? No, you've got to. No, 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 don't. No, don't be like those other X-Pro2 buddies that apparently have caused lots of users problems. 
in the thousands of you that there are, I'm sure that's just a tiny percentage. Some people like to moan, but hmm, maybe the guys will let us know if they've had a problem too. No, you got to go back. No, I need to turn off the video. Okay, I'm going. See ya. I'm not going to kiss you.